Hey guys, Brad from Team Crimson here, bringing you a discussion video uh, about the new Xeroth Dragon. Actually, just revealed this morning. Uh, just wanted to talk about it. I wanted to wait on this one, actually, just because. Um, uh, I mean, I w watched the anime and uh, saw it on Saturday, but didn't know if that was it, if that was everything. So needed to wait until the actual uh, card came out until we could discuss it. So. Uh, but let's go ahead and discuss it. Uh, this is Xeroth Dragon of Inferno Drachma. He's the Dragon Empire Xeroth Dragon. Um, the, he's got the 25k base. Um, and then he's got the ultimate stride part of his skill as well. Um, which we discussed already. But let's get on to the other skill. Which is um, Auto. Counterblast 2 when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circling to pay the cost. If you do... Retire all of your opponent's units. Bind them face up. Your opponent chooses three of his or her cards. Um, chooses three cards from his or her hand. Discards two cards from among them and rides a card from among them on Vanguard Circle. Uh, the Vanguard is retired as well. Uh, he or she rides a card from the soul if there are no cards in hand. Uh, he or she loses the game if it is not possible to do anything. So that's pretty much the skill. Um, so yeah, the soul stays. Um, that's very important to note. The soul does stay. Um, the soul doesn't get uh, retired and bound or just retired. Um, that, that stays there. Um, now, first off, I'll, I will say I was wrong. I don't say I'm wrong very often. But... <laughs> Um, I was wrong about him. I I had uh, a sneaking suspicion in my head that he might actually be really good, um, or at least better than the than the other one that was revealed. And uh, no, no, he's he's not good. He's not a very good card at all. Um, he's okay. He's he's just. He's nothing special, but it sounds super special. Let's let's just let's get onto it and let's keep discussing it. So, uh, some of the slight positives are he has a possibility of nagging your opponent eight cards in hand, um, or eight cards in general. But that's so hard to do. They have to have five cards on the field. They have, and then the three cards in hand to to be nagging them eight cards. Um, the other thing, the fact that I find that is, is kind of cool is, um, it's, it kind of counts as an alternate win condition in some ways, um, outside of Link Joker. So Kagero is the only clan outside of Link Joker to have an alternate win condition, which is awesome, um, to say that. Uh, however, in order to do that alternate win condition, your opponent has to have no cards in soul. And then they would have to have only two cards in hand. Um, pretty much what I'm getting at is this skill is very, very flashy um, with little to no substance. Uh, you're paying a high cost for very little return. Um, ZRs, I've always, at least when they were announced, I always thought were supposed to be uh, just like a somewhat faster GB8. Um, uh, they're finishers. They're, that's what they're supposed to be. But when you look at this one, you can, when you compare this one, and you compare uh, Megiddo from Megalanica, uh, Megiddo is just a way better finisher. Uh, way better solid card all around. Uh, and it's more, Megiddo's more fair, more balanced, and you get to do actually do something when you're paying up this cost. This just doesn't do much. Honestly, at this point, I'd just rather play Blazing Burst Dragon instead. Uh, I'll still get this card. When this card comes out, I will still get this card. Um, but it's probably going to go instantly into my binder. Um, which is just sad to me because I love this dude's art. This dude's art is amazing. Um, 
but yeah, it's it's just it's not that great. Uh, it's disappointing, very disappointing. I'm somewhat depressed about it. <laughs> um, but I do also play Gears, um, so I'm hoping that the Dark Zone Zero Dragon will be really good. Please be really good. Um, we'll see. Um, but anyways, yes, I am planning on making uh, individual videos for each Zero Dragon that comes out um, because I just think they're they're pretty important to the anime and they're important uh, in game sense too. Um, I think they deserve their own videos. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll be coming at you later this week with more videos. We'll be coming at you with more content, more uh, possibly deck profiles, definitely some more games. Um, so yeah, just uh, stay tuned. Please like and subscribe and we will see you later.